In this video, I'll explain how to use the switch statement. Okay, my shopping cart application has an uh, object created from the order class, and it passes four arguments off, the name, the amount or the total that the customer has paid for, uh, their location, and then finally, we have an object here, order.corp, and what we're going to do here is use that to uh, determine what type of corporation or company it is and calculate a discount based on that. So we have nonprofit, we have corporation, and we have private companies. So let's go over and take a look at our order class. Now first, here are three different uh, company types. And then down here we've created a car variable called cust type, and that'll take on one of these three values. And as you can see uh, from the previous screen, from the uh, shopping cart uh, class, that we passed off four items, and here's the last item, customer type. And in there, finally, a discount is going to be calculated using a method called calc discount. Now, if I scroll down, here's Calc Discount, and as you can see, it's a series of nested or chained if statements. So we have if customer type equals, and then inside we're checking the amount they paid, and we're going to base the discount on that. And so we've got a bunch of chained if statements, but the easy way to do this is to use the switch statement. Now, before I do that, let's go ahead and just test this to make sure it works. Okay, discounts 5% for a corporation that spends $910. If I change that to nonprofit, let's go ahead and calculate it or run it again. Okay, so the discount for nonprofits, if they spend more than $900, is 10%. So everything looks great. Now, all I want to do here is take this entire set of uh, chained if statements and remove them because we're going to now use the switch statement instead. So it looks like this. Switch, and remember, cust type is the variable, that car variable that we're using to, uh, to check. I'll go ahead and put in our brace. Now, inside the braces, we're going to use case statements. So instead of the if statement that we would use, as in uh, the uh, code that uh, we saw before I deleted it, use the if statement and then check a condition. What we're going to do now is say case Nonprofit. We're going to go through the three types, and remember, um, I'll go ahead and put a colon there because you have to put a colon afterwards. That we still need that testing condition, and the testing condition happens here: discount equals, and then we put in the testing condition: total is greater than 900, and then a question mark, and that gives us the ability to put in a uh, boolean decision here. We've got either uh, is it greater than 900, which would be a true, or less than 900, which would be a false. And so the true value is 10%. And then we separate that with the colon and then put in the value if it's false, 5%. And put in our semicolon. Now, this is very important. Use the, uh, the break command. You can leave it out if you want to, but the thing is, if you do leave it out, it's going to go through the entire range of switch case statements. Uh, and we don't want to do that. If Once we've found the result we're looking for, we just want to break out of the, uh, the switch statement. So we use break to do that. Now next, I'll go ahead and do case. And this one is private. And again, we put a colon in, and then discount equals the testing condition, and let's say total is greater than $500, question mark, 7%, and uh, 4%. And then put in our break. And then finally, we want to put in uh, one for corporation, and again, we'll do uh, case corp with a colon, and then discount equals testing condition total, uh, let's say greater than a thousand. We want to make this a little different. For corporations, we want to give them a higher discount for lower sales and a smaller discount for larger sales. Again, put our question mark in for the uh, logical uh, Boolean uh, choice. And then here we'll say, uh, uh, if it's greater than a thousand, say a 3% discount. And if it's less than a thousand, because that would be the false of greater than 1,000, we'll make that 5%. And once again, put in our break, even though it's the last item in the... Uh, um, okay, and then finally, and we want to put this in because we want to make sure that we, uh, we catch uh, if either of those three conditions aren't true. 
Okay, so for instance, if we have a value other than nonprofit, private, or corp, what we want to do is put in the default value. So this is, is what the uh, switch statement will default to, assuming the other three conditions uh, haven't been proven true. And we'll just put in uh, system.out.println. And that just provides information to the user in case one of those first three conditions isn't true. Okay, great. So now we're done. So I'll go ahead and uh, run this. Okay, so we got the same result as before when we had the if statements. And that's exactly what we do want. We want, want to see that same thing because now we've replaced all those complicated uh, uh, chained if statements with this nice, neat, easy to read uh, switch case construct. And just to, to make sure, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change this to, uh, say, $1,500 and make this a corporation. Just to test, it's always a good idea to test and make sure. So it's over $1,000 and it's a corporation and so the results should be 3% as you can see there. So I'll go ahead and run the program and there you go. And that's how you use the switch statement in Java.